what's up everyone in today's video i'm going to talk about my last sales call it was not successful but i will walk you through how i handle objections of the person she was completely broke that's why she did not join our high ticket program but in this video you will learn all the objection handling process and you might close your next client using this process so let's get started So I booked that person with our appointment booking strategy and she went for the discovery call. What happened? The mistake we did was we did not qualify her. So we directly booked the sales call with her without knowing that she was completely broke. But let me walk you through the sales call process. So we started the sales call and we explained everything about the slides now i'm not going to talk about the whole slides process we will focus about objections and how i handle those objections that's the focus for this video okay so our offer was a nine thousand dollar program where we were going to help her achieve a five thousand dollar month revenue when i pitched her our offer then we added a few bonuses if you have been watching my videos then of course you know how to create a stack so we also created a stack inside that bonuses she will get a personal assistant that will work with her for two months and help her book more appointments and get clients that was again a huge problem for every single person who is running a business so we added that powerful bonus into our system why because we know that people need that type of support so that was the bonus and second bonus that we added was she will get one year of extended access of our recorded course so that she can watch videos again and again which is also important if she wanted to create her own course so these two bonuses and we added a few more offers as well which i cannot tell you here so you can see the power of the stack which were solving her exact problems and the price was nine thousand dollar but what happened the person told me that she is completely broke so how can you sell a completely broke person so to handle this objection i told her that if you really want something then you manage money somehow and i told her my own story which is true i told her when i started in 2020 i also wanted to join a course and the price was three times more than what i was making so i borrowed money from my friends i enrolled inside that course after six months again i wanted to enroll into a big high ticket offer and uh, i wanted to uh, join that person's uh, want a group coaching service but i had no money so i again borrowed money from my friends and i enrolled inside that course so this motivated her she was like okay i completely agree i actually wanted to go forward but currently i'm not making that much amount of money so she was making only a few hundred dollars which was completely impossible for her which made it completely impossible for her to enroll into our uh, high ticket program so but she got excited she was like i'm interested i wanted to join but i also cannot borrow money from my friends and relatives something like that so and i did not want to force her so with this story and with this offer we motivated her we managed that objection but when the person is completely broke uh we cannot we should not force her because we knew the condition of the person we knew that if she's beginner then of course she has to you know manage her other expenses and she will take at least 90 to 120 days to hit that revenue month so when, when you are in pressure of course you push yourself hard you put that effort to achieve that results but it should come naturally so we did not push her and after two days she again messaged me that Tanmay, i really wanted to go forward but this is this is my bank account right now i have this 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 task and i have this 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 bills i cannot borrow money and something like that but you can see the sales call went very good she messaged me after two days that she wanted to go forward and she will join whenever she will have money in her bank so i also pitched her some low ticket offers but she told me that because of other expenses she were not able to handle she was not able to go forward with this offer so i'll tell you how you can do sales call and how you can handle this money objection i'll tell you the principle behind this whenever someone says you that they do not have a budget 
tell them a story of how other people who join your program or how people who actually wanted to go forward manage money so you can tell them okay i completely agree uh, that you are going through hard times and i know that you're having low budget but other from budget issue what is the exact thing that is stopping you from going forward and they will explain everything about other than money i have this 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 these things or i have nothing just budget is the issue and when they say the budget is the only issue tell them why it is important for them with your story like i did like i borrowed money from my friends or you can tell your another client's story or some something else that will motivate them to okay this thing is more important than budget i can borrow money from other places and tell them like okay i know that you have to achieve this 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 whatever they have explained but can you manage money from somewhere else can you borrow money like i did can you do this give them some support and tell them like if they borrow money if they add just money from some places then of course there are chances that they will go forward and don't pressurize them this is very important if your product is really good if your service is really good then of course they will get results and they can feel it naturally you don't need to do all these things if you pressurize them if they borrow money some from somewhere and if they do not get results you will responsible for whatever going to happen with them so very important do not pressurize let them feel naturally if they believe if you believe in your product your service then of course you can add a little pressure but not much okay sales should be natural you have to help them so that's how you have to handle the objection and um, yeah there are more videos coming up and i will explain in detail how i am doing all my sales call and my lead generation and my appointment booking process so stay connected on my youtube channel thank you